Rigadhi Gashagwa. Tumpige makofi moja. Biri. Tatu. Asante Thank you. Asante sana. Tafadhali tuketi. Uh, our governor Joshua Irongo, the governor of Nyeri, Mheshimiwa Mwenyeji wetu, Mheshimiwa Mwangi Kujure, our PS for Public Service in Muskadesha, all leaders who are here. Eh dwa goveti muriega. Ngai ni mwega. Na ile sio the. Ngai dia ishara na modani ya gosho. Gobeta mjambo. Happy New Year. Muri okuwa dwa ito. No moyo mereirie. Ah wacha tu ni some hii kimombo kidogo alafu ni ongeza kidogo. Um the principal secretary state department for public service Amos Gavesha our host governor the governor the senator of Lakipia women rep our local member of parliament Wangi Kunjure viongozi wote wale mefika ladies and gentlemen it is a pleasure joining you the people of Lakipia county as we officially launch the Makutano Huduma Center today, with this 53rd such facility, we are devolving a people-centered service to the doorstep. We are reaching over 60,000 customers per day through the Huduma Centers in 33 counties across the country. Opening of this facility in Lakipia County increases our reach to the people of Gobit, Tigidi, Vingilu, Umande, among others. Indeed, the Makutano facility is strategic. It will serve over 500,000 residents of Lakipia and the bordering counties whose Huduma, who, whose Huduma centers are far away. It will complement and ease the demand for service at the other facility in Nyanyuki town. Residents of Nyeri County near the Huduma center will no longer have to travel 78 kilometers to Nyeri town for service. We have cut down the travel for 61.1 kilometers to Nyanyuki and another 76.1 kilometers to Nyandarwa. The fact that the facility has offered in-person assistance to over 1,100 100 customers since February 1, 2024 means there is dire need for the service. The Cabinet Secretary and other relevant agencies are working to ensure all services as per the demand are available. A Vision 2030 flagship project to Huduma Centers across the country have transformed from various agencies of the national and county governments. The national government has moved services online, making them available with technical support from Huduma Centers and other relevant agencies. I call on all the counties to consider moving all their services online as a priority for better delivery. In limiting human interaction through technology, we also make service delivery cheaper and free from corruption and other vices. Based on the experience of the last 10 years, the Huduma centers have proved an essential component in not only service delivery, but also a support system for employment. It is for this reason that the Ruto administration is keen on working with the members of parliament in establishing Huduma centers in the 290 constituencies across the country. This is through Huduma Jitume Digital Center, which incorporates the Jitume hubs for youth empowerment in digital jobs. I invite members of the National Assembly to take advantage for the co-funding model to establish Huduma Jitume Digital Centers in their constituencies. We must create jobs for our young people. As we work on as we work to set up Fate Huduma Jitume Digital Centers in the next 12 months, it is our determination that the same investment in educating our youth is applied in creating employment opportunities for them. Our President, His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, has been traversing the globe looking for jobs for our youth. The immense digital skills and expertise are the passport to these digital jobs. Creation of 1,450 digital hubs one in every ward is a visa to the foreign jobs that the president has negotiated for the youth. Even as we connect the country with free Wi-Fi hotspots, 
and link the 100,000 kilometers fiber optic connectivity network, the future which is now is digital. We must be prepared. On this note, it is now my pleasure to declare the Mekutano Huduma Center officially open. Asante ni sana. Watu wetu mimi niongeze tu kidogo ni seme ni mefrai sana watu ya gobe tu kwa makaribisho yenu. Na mimi na timu yangu tumefurahi sana vile mmetukaribisha hapa. Niliingia hapa kaunti ya laikipi ya Tagu Jana. Nikiwa ziara ya kirasimi ni metuma na rais wetu William Ruto. Sana sana kupanga mambo ya vile watu wetu watakaa na amani. Mambo ya usalama. Na nimefanya mikutano jana. Na maofsa wetu wote wa usalama na tumekubaliana. Ya kwamba wakaaji wa laikipi ya watakaa na amani bila kuwawa bila kujeruhiwa bila mifugo yao kuibiwa na bila kukaa na wasiwasi na rais William Ruto na mimi tuliahidi watu ya Laikipia wakitupatia nafasi ya uongozi kazi yetu ya kwanza ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba tumedumisha amani na usalama katika kaunti ya Laikipia na mimi najivunia sana kwa niaba ya rais wetu ya kwamba tangu tuchukue ushukani visa ya uhalifu na mauaji imepungua kiasi kikubwa na ile imebaki ni shida kidogo kidogo kama 20% na dio jana nimekuwa na mkutano wa usalama pale matweku na jioni nikakaa na maofisa wetu wa usalama pamoja na viongozi na wa viongozi wa dini na tukakubaliana kwa kauli moja ya kwamba mambo ya usalama itadumishwa na kila mkaaji wa Laikipia atapata nafasi ya kufanya kazi yake bila uoga. Namba 2 tumekubaliana na hawa vita thidi ya pombe haramu na bangi na madawa ya kulevia itaendelea ndio tuokoe watoto wetu kutoka janga hilo ambaye watoto wetu karibu waangamie. Na mimi nimekubaliana na hao maofisa ya usalama within two weeks waweke mikakati kabambe kwa kisha ya kwamba tumemalizana na hiyo maneno. Pia hapo baadaye nitakuwa nafasi kwenda huko Nyahururu kwa mambo ya maternity ward kwa sababu tumesema hao vijana wakiwacha pombe na hao wasichana wetu waingie ile kazi muhimu ndio hiyo maternity yetu governor na jenga iweze kujaa. Kati kwa ndo hito. Hata hizi shule yote mwangi kiujori rafiki yangu anasema tujenge nani atakuwa huko? Hii mashule yetu, most of them, the classrooms are empty. True or false? Kwa hivyo tunataka pia, hii pombe ikiisha na kuwe na usalama. Vijana wetu na wale wa mama badu wako na nguvu. Tuendelee kujaza hii dunia vile bibidia nasema. Sindio? Kati kwa moko eda. Kashi ya natikira adhimo. Ogu waka hora wedi yuhari ya matane zine kudhi kuona. Na imi mure heto modu kuhu. Na shukuru hizi mwezi mwa mwagi wake juli ya nabuka tuwa kene kena shihore. Na rurele lituro thereme. Na kengaji ya ikari ya geturadhi mwaka. Hii uduma senta ni ya maana sana wa mama na waze. Nimetebea hapo dani nimefurai sana. Ukitaka kitambulisho unaenda unamaliziwa hapo. Hata mimi saa hii yangu nimetegenezewa hile mbia. Nimepigwa picha, nimechukuliwa vidole. Itakuwa tiyari bada ya siku tatu. Mambo ya birth certificate hapo mambo ya death certificate hapo ndani mambo ya NHIF hapo ndani mambo ya NSSF hapo ndani mambo ya pension wale wa mestavu hapo ndani kai mwada kati ya doitu haunehega mambo ya CDF hii ya mwishimu mwangi kujori basa ni nini hapo ndani na nipahali pazuri nisavi sana na wasichana na vijana wamefaa vizuri hapo wanaongelesha watu mzuri Hata mimi wame niongeleza vizuri ni mefurai. Hama nyi ya mutaki wangeleza vizuri. Swabu zizi kitu wa tutaki ni maringo. Mweteo na mwedhu nolo. Kati kuo. Shio ni shio tuthu hile. Tuwe da kwa liyo kaho. Nagite. Aidake na muno ni faciliteno. Na PS Gathesha ni wa staff pongezi. Mweshimu wa mwangi kujure na CDF pongezi. Let this facility serve our people. Watu wetu wawache kutumia pesa mingi kweda mpaka nyahururu, kweda nyeri, kweda nyanyuki. Pia nimefurahi kwa 
kusema county government ya Nyeri ifugue desk hapo ile watu wako karibu hapa na iruti yake ya wara hapo wakuje hapo hii Kenya ni moja na hii mipaka ni mzungu waliweka lakini we are the same people kwanza watu ya Nyeri na watu ya Laikipia si kitu kimoja hii boundary tu ni mzungu waliweka lakini sisi we are one people kwa hivyo hii facility imenifurahisha sana na tumekubaliana na mjumbe wa shira karani na yeye pia aende ajenge pale Kenamba watu wa Kenamba waende hapo naye Irungu tumekubaliana atujengee pale Rumruti naye tumekubaliana na mjumbe ya Ndaragwa na watu ya Nyandarwa tutaongea pale Nyahururu pale Shamata we want services closer to the people na hii ni kitu moja serikali yetu ya president William Ruto imefaulu kufikia wananchi kwa mashinani pahali wako nikitoka hapo mheshimiwa mwangi kujiri tumeongea na yeye iko shule hapa 27 katika consistency hii ambaye haina stima na hiyo ni aibu na tutafuatilia tumekubaliana na PS mheshimiwa this financial year tutaweka nusu 14 of them na next financial year tutaweka 13 na hiyo mimi mwenyewe nitafuatilia personally kwa sababu nimefika hapa. Pia tumesema mheshimiwa amesema kuna shule moja hapa ambaye imeanguka. Ninaitwa Eda Water. Gobet. Sasa tulikuwa hapa na mkubwa wa CDF hapo hapa anaitwa Bruno. Bruno uko wapi? Sasa wewe kuja utuambie. Sasa unajua? Damu ile toni ageukire heli. Alikini kwa huko kutaleka udo ugete. Hiyo shule ya Gobe tutatengenezea. Tatumadia ngapi? Asante sana your excellency. Uh, nataka confirm tuko na hapa na board members wetu wawili, wewe mikono. Tumejadiliana na tukubaliana kwamba mwezi wa Julai tutaweka shilingi milioni tano tuweze kujenga hiyo shule. Bas. Ile tutige kile na kuweka na kuoka. Ile tutige kile na kuoka. Alafu mimi nitashukua shule tatu nisaidie mheshimiwa nipeane milioni mbili kwa kila shule. At least three schools eh tutegeneze kwa sababu tumefika hapa si ndio? So mheshimiwa utanipatia three schools but within this area. Hii ya Gobet na mimi niweke milioni mbili mbili na wewe uongeze ya CDF tutegeneze sikae vizuri. Kwa mambo ya barabara inaendelea vizuri. Hata hii barabara ya kutoka na nyuki kwenda rumruti ni barabara ya maana sana mimi nikiwa dio pale ngarwa askari wa ipi alikuwa nakuja kuchukua mshahara anatoka kenamba anaenda mpaka nyahururu anachukua gari kutoka nyahururu mpaka nyeri anachukua gari kingine kutoka nyeri mpaka nyanyu barabara mrefu sana hii ni barabara rais mwenyewe ameweka mkaso na tutafuatilia tutaona mambo ilikuwa ngumu lakini mambo imeanza kuwa sawa sawa na hiyo tutaendelea tutafanya pamoja tutasiki sana. Mambo ya wanyama kusumbua watu ya Laikipia. Sisi tuliahidi watu ya Laikipia ya kwamba tukipata nafasi ya uongozi tutaendelea kuweka ile fence. Hao wanyama wakae kwa msitu. Wakule ile kitu hiko huko msituni hata kama ni majani. Na hii chakula tumelima ikuliwe na binadamu. Najua hii dofu haina aibu. Hawezi lima chochote inangojea mpaka tulime inakuja kukula. Sasa tumekubaliana hao wanyama wakae kwa msituni na hao wananchi wakae kwa masha. Na rais alitusaidia na PS kutoka hapa. Si yako hapa? Sasa PS charity begins where? East or west? East or west? Gemishi mpaka naku. Inakuwa ya kama mpaka naku. Akemuyu kawa akauga yana geria ke? Na Jesu ajiridie Jerusalem. Atana die jude. As a PS hiyo proverbs nimesema utaelezewa what it means. Hebu jojori very good atakwambia what I am saying. Nimekuwa na geria au? Ile dia dia. Do you read about me and Lily? Na ningedhi go ile matu. Mwili tu shoito na damu yo horo. Adi mwisho hii tatoinya. Leo ni yako manyore yao e kana ni tukumtaidania nake. Nigeza tutaidia ndo itumatike kuthinio ni choko tutu ni tuthinetie kahinda karai umuno. Mheshimiwa mwangi kijuri amesema vizuri sana. Tupate nafasi ya kueleza wananchi yale ambayo imefanyika. Serikali ya Rais William Ruto tukimsaidia imefanya mengi. Hata kama tulikuta matatizo mengi sana 
tulikuta madeni mlolongo mzima 9.6 trillion kakuta ingine naitwa euro bond ya 2 billion tumelipa juzi na tukakwama karibu mwaka moja rais akingangana kuweka maneno sawa sawa lakini sasa mambo imeanza kuwa sawa rais alipoingia fertilizer ilikuwa shilingi 1700 tumepunguza fertilizer mpaka 2500 na mimi nataka kumuomba gavana afungue ma depot hii fertilizer ikaribie wananchi wasiende bali na hiyo ni kitu moja ambaye katika serikali tumefanya mambo ya wamama wale wazee zaidi ya 70 years tulikuta wanakaa hata mwaka mmoja bila kupewa haki yao tumewalipa pesa zao zote na tumehakikisha wanapata kabla ya tariki 30 kila mwezi juu ya hayo wale wote walikuwa wamefikisha 70 years hawaku wamesajiliwa tumewasajili na hivi karibuni wataanza kupokea haki yao again katika mambo ya masomo tumerekebisha mambo ya CBC ambaye wazazi na walimu na watoto walikuwa analia na tumeleta mambo ya JSS na tumeambia walimu hata kama mtoto hana dawati ama uniform pana fukusa eh wacha akae na ile uniform ya zamani mzazi wake akipata ingine ambatie na tumeambia hii walimu mwapana fukusa watoto na yule mwalimu atafukuza mtoto kwa sababu ya uniform kwa JSS kabla mtoto afike nyumbani mwalimu atakuwa ametangulia ni tura hii ndania na hao waheshimiwa atusaidie mkiona mwalimu ambaye anafukuza watoto mambo ya JSS mtuambie huyo mwalimu tutatuma yeye nyumbani angoje mtoto huko kwa sababu wazazi wako na matatizo mengi na apewe nafasi atafute pesa ya uniform akiendelea na ile ya zamani madarasa ilikuweko waendelee kusoma hiyo maneno tumekubaliana na ni mambo ambaye ni mzuri na tutaendelea. Kwa hivyo watu ya Gobet ni sema asante sana. Na vile tumesema umoja wa hii jamii yetu ya Mount Kenya ni muhimu. Na viongozi wote wamesema wazi. Labda Mwangi kujuri huku sikia vile waliongea. Walisema the mountain should be united behind President William Ruto. Kwa hivyo there is no contradiction or conflict. Sisi tunasema ya kwamba rais alichaguliwa na hii watu ya mlima 87%. Tunataka kutafuta ile 13% ambayo ilikuwa nje tuilete iunge rais wetu mkono. But we cannot do that when we divide the community. Na dio kulipokuwa na maongeo hapo mbeleni dio ilifanya hii debate ya umoja wa mlima ianze ya kusema tukawe watu ya Kiambu, watu ya Nyeri, watu ya Moranga, tukaona tutapotea kama jamii. Sisi tunataka tuunganisha watu wetu wote behind president William Ruto and also cement our relevance in the national political discourse. Todo hinyawi itu ne urumweke itu. And we know as a region honorable Mwangi Kijure you know how this region has suffered when we were divided. In the year 1992 you can remember one group nyeri like ipia nyandarwa parts of nakuru kirenyaga meru anembu saraka nidhi we went with president mike baki another group of muranga kiambu part of narobi went with kenneth matiba and we walked in the opposition the same happened in 1997 but from 2002 this region learned its lessons and decided to be speaking in one voice so that they can remain in government at all times and since this region found the formula of being in government and being relevant we have remained in government to date in 2002 2007 2013 2017 2022 2022 behaved in a clever manner by casting our vote as a region in total and that is what has given us an opportunity to either lead government or to be part of government and that is what we want to continue and we must make sure that this region remains in government forever in eternity and that's why i've said as a leader in this region it is also my responsibility to make sure this region remains united and remains in government today tomorrow the day after and years to come.
And that is why the call for unity behind President William Ruto and our own unity as a region is important. And that we shall continue telling our people because it's important that we remind our people the challenges we had when we were divided and the gains and the progress we have made when we are united so that our people are well informed. Because as leaders, we have a responsibility all times to talk to our people. Lakini sisi, wote nikiongoza, hao mawaziri, wabunge wetu wote katika eneo hili, tumeungana nyume ya President wetu William Ruto, tunamusaidia kwa kazi na tutaendelea kumusaidia, tutaendelea kumuunga mkono na tutaendelea kuenda pamoja na yeye katika zile miradi ambaye amepanga. Kwa sababu yeye anatuongoza vyema na tuko na juhudi ya kumsaidia na kumuunga mkono sio leo peke yake hata tukielekea mbele. Kati wa ndoa hizo. Kanyu ni mungu atakao gani? Ni mungu atakao gani? Tulia na yageke. Tulia na yageke. Urume wito ni wohinya wito. Na ndiye mwali timu yake mwe mwe na hinya ta nyumba. Na gutiri handu hange alio tutariho. No tugiganya ganio tugigayo kana tugenyaga nio tabai matheru. Na tuikore tu handu hacheke. Wakone tu hodi na bere na kwaria na andu aitu na kumaririkania athare ya twanathie ta nyumba. Na twagayo kanite. Na faida ya tuone ta kumare ya tuo higire tukinyitana. Tuikara tukiaria maundu macito ni maundu mega. Na no turaki onona kuria kungi andu no marakiaria manyitane. Na no ego nao manyitane nigetha tushoke tuke tushemani iduo the tunyitanite. Western yinyitane, Tanzania yinyitane, North Eastern yinyitane. Choka tushemani iduo the Kenya tunyitane. Na tutiginyitana Kenya twabita kunyitana gwitu. Andu manyitane kwa o mathondeke maigwithanie, ari angi maigwithanie, ari angi maigwithanie na ndirake na Leonardo agiara matari manyitana ni monte athara ya kwa kunyitana. Ona o marauga manyitane nigetha maundu mao magire. Kwa go idwe tu ifaita ya kunyitana tutigitikira ko gayo kana to no tuthia athare na twarathie ko guonie ni dake na muno 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 andu a covid na ni turi ukarege na rege na rege ohoro wa green card moga ni cia andu etagwa te eh ni moku hembe ali tatu eh ni mo hembe ali tatu mo hembe ali igana sio era ne goruta ne muruti wera muno ni ndirigetha na ni gunga ngana ni getha adige dona ni mwate hirika. Ni tuwaleka ni wabuwa? Eh? Tutiyake kena? Ni gutu wa mkira wega? Da shoka na hilo vige hithi ya president witu hili ya muruto? Ni mwede ni mwamuga hithi ya? Ni mwede te? Ni mwamu hoera? Ni mwaku mwenye itirida? Ni yana nini dake na muno ni getha tuhote kuthia uha ki asante ni sana Gawi tuwa muradhime na muwekewega. Thank you.